Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to connect in Delphi with Microsoft SQL using the DATO connection component, ADO data set component, and data source. And we will display the data into the Now I have created uh, one Delphi application where uh, 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 I have taken the three field imply ID, imply name, imply address and uh, on the button of the connection with database it will establish the connection and uh, once connection will get established display the data on click of the display data button it will display the data into the uh, imply id imply name and imply address so for this i have taken the three uh, component radio radio connection component radio query component and uh, the data source component right so we can here uh, one feature is there hide the non-visual component because uh, these are the database component or non-visual component we can hide it we can show it here so what we are going to do uh, on the connect with the database so how to create the connection is uh, string right so we can we have seen in one of uh, in the previous video how to create the connection string so we can select one of the property uh, of the TADO connection connection string. We can go here. We can just build the connection. We can select here. After that, we can just give the server name, right? So we can give the server name. For us, server name is this. Okay. And my database for this server, I have uh, selected the customer database. And from there, I have taken the employee detail table right so i can just this is the windows authentication so all the database for me uh, that is restored on the this server is displaying here that we can see in the uh, sql uh, server management studio also so this is the server and this is the database customer database and right and this is the table i am going to use imply detail tables and imply detail tables we have basically the three field imply id imply name and address and total four record is available let's see so i can select my database and test the connection test connection is successful right and we can just click this is my connection stream right so this connection stream basically i have taken it and just on the click of the connection to the data here we have to set this property connection string right so instead of setting the design time what i will do we don't have anything in the design time so runtime we are going to set it here so connection one dot connection string equal to this the connection that we have created just now i have put it here after that just connection and login from false and once the connection uh, string we have set it now we have to write the query right so what data we are going to display right we are data we are going to fetch from the database so select start from the implied detail so it will give us the, this set of the data core record with three fit now we will see that ADO connection one dot connection this connection property will set it right so that connection uh, we have to give the ADO connection one that reference of this object okay and the ADO query one dot active equal to true will make it and after that we have to set the data set okay in data set data source we have to set the data set property so in data source component we will set the data set equal to ADO query so we can see it here data source we basically set the data set property right the same thing we are setting in the runtime right now here the connection will get established after that we will, we will see that the display the data right so we are basically going to display the data all the four fields right imply id imply name and imply address into the combo box respectively right so what display data we are going to uh, see once we will uh, active this query uh, we will set get the data from the 
reply detail tables it will be available in the audio query one right so once we have the data into the audio query we can just loop it right through the uh, while loop you'll use so till query one dot end of the file okay it will loop it fine and it will it will give us line it will read the line by line so first time it will read the first line right second next time second line once you do the query one dot next it will go and read the second line right and in this way it will read till end of the line till end of the file so once this is not the end of the file it will read it and line by line once it will read the first line we will get all the set of the record here first line 100 imply name uh, bb roid and implied address will be chennai so what we are going to do we will just put into the combo box that item that add and what value we are going to do we are going to take the value from the ADO query imply id value and just add into the combo box right similar way for the imply name and imply address also then from the ADO query dot next what it will happen it will go and go to the next record and from this record we will read okay for imply id imply name and address and just add into the combo box similar way for all the four record it will happen so this is the way uh, once you click on the display data all the record will fill on the imply id imply name and imply address let's run and see it so just for time being i am hiding this non-visual component it look better just let me run this so here is this connection to the database connection is established and after that i just click on the display data so we'll see that data is available or not see all the employee id 100 uh, 101 103 and 4 we can see it here 100 101 3 and 4 and after that imply id imply name and address it will display imply name and imply address right so this is how we can do the delphi uh, with the connection with the database dynamically thank you very much So I have in, uh, included the chat GPT uh, that's uh, uh, open API uh, here and uh, just we can ask any anything uh, from the chat G, GPT tool like create a class to make the zip file. Uh, we can ask and it will give you the complete class that will uh, know how to make the zip file. Okay, similar way uh, we can ask uh, create a class to connect MS SQL and display the data into the DB grid uh, with Delphi or using Delphi. Just so we can see here uh, uh, we got the response from uh, chat gpt they have created the data model class and after that uh, these are the ADO connection and ADO data set ADO data source tv grid and here on the connect database uh, just they are connected data display they are open the data set right so we can uh, use the chat gpt that will help us in the development uh, related to the chat gpt i've created a separate video i will provide the link in this video thank you